Hi, this is Ryan from Platinum Loops, and today we're going to be using Ableton Live to transform a ska drum loop into a hip hop drum loop. So let's get started here. I'm going to go into my Platinum Loops ska guitars sample pack and grab this 77 BPM drum loop, drum beat rims. Let's take a listen to it. It's a nice drum loop, but it's definitely in a style of ska music. It's kind of a light drum loop. It's got a lot of uh, swing to it. I'd like to take it and transform it into something a little bit heavier. So let's right click on our clip here and choose Slice to New MIDI Track. I'm going to slice it in quarter notes with the built-in zero velocity algorithm. Slice it up and Ableton's going to make a brand new track. Let's take a listen. So because the tempo of this drum loop is 77 BPM and we're currently at 97, it sounds a little bit off. But it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be using the MIDI information that Ableton provides. I'm going to create my own. So let's just erase that and go in and see what slices we've got here. The first thing I want to do is take this, make kind of my own kit out of the drum sounds. Take This is normally where the snare is. As you can see, it's a kick. I'm just going to pull this over and grab a snare, or a rim shot. And then I'm going to transpose it down. Sounds nice. And then right here where normally the hi-hat is, slice seven, I'm gonna grab a hi-hat. Okay, and I'm gonna drag slice eight up to where the open hi-hat normally is, and turn that into an open hi-hat. And to get this working correctly, if you click on this tiny little arrow right here on your drum rack, it's going to unfold and show you all your slices. And if you notice, this is my closed hi-hat, this is my open hi-hat. I want to set them both the same choke group so that when I hit, when I hit the closed hi-hat, it turns off the open hi-hat sample. It sounds more realistic. Okay. Try to grab a kick drum without that hi hat in it too. There we go. Okay, so let's record a little drum loop. that real quick. Let's shift command U. And just drag the end of this clip here so it loops four bars. So let's add some hi-hats. I'm just going to write them in. It'd be easier, I think. If you click on the slice button, the little piano key, it'll select all the slices in that row. It's a nice way to select them all. Let me just get this going all the way across. And then. Sounds nice. 
One thing I want to do is adjust the release time so all the samples go all the way to the end. So I notice that the open hi-hat is getting cut. All right, and now I'm gonna start filtering the drums a little bit, give them a more unique sound. So the, the kick drum especially, I'm gonna turn the filter on here, and it's automatically set as a low pass filter. If I pull that down, it sounds a lot more. Now the open hi-hat, I'm gonna pitch that down a little bit. And then I'm gonna put a filter on, and I'm gonna change it to a high pass filter. Just grab some of the upper frequencies. Do the same here with the, uh, the open hi-hat. There we go. So already, if, you, if we listen to the original drum, it's sounding a lot different. Here's our new one. So one last thing I'm going to do to give this drum loop impact is I'm going to put a compressor on it. Instead of just using a standard compressor, I'm going to create a, a parallel compressor instrument. So what I want to do is add a, an EQ and a compressor, and then I'm going to hold shift and highlight both of them and hit Apple G to group them into one, into one module. And then if we click here, we'll get uh, we'll be able to see the chain, and I'm just going to hold Option, duplicate that, and then delete the, ins the uh, effects from that chain. So now what we have is one chain with uh, an EQ and a compressor, and another chain that's just clean. I'm going to pull the compressor down like this, and then let's set the compressor here. EQ should look like this. Compressor, pull it down to about negative 20. Put the ratio at 4. Kill the makeup and turn it to an opto. So now what we have, if you pull, this chain is called Apple R to rename it. This is the compressor. And this is clean. Actually, let's try to call it dry. So now what we can do is mix a dry signal in with this really heavily compressed signal. It's going to really add a lot of punch to our drums. Let's take a listen. And I turn it off. Turn on the makeup really brings it out. There it is without it. Now if we compare that to the original loop, really created a lot more interesting drum loop from this original sample. Um, so thanks for listening, and as always, this loop pack, Ska Guitars Volume 1, is available right now from PlatinumLoops.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's YouTube.com slash PlatinumLoops, and let us know uh, any other things you want us to do tutorials on, any new techniques you want to learn. 
Thanks so much for listening. Take care.